have a little time before Mr. Jefferson's class, so I can do some wandering. So are you going to that Vortex Club party? Like I would miss it. I have this sweet- If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. Your outfit? Justin always looks stoned. I wouldn't want to be at an end of the world party with Nathan Prescott. Too much truth in advertising. Carrying a gun to class is cool, though. I swear, Principal Wells always looks- Sir? Oh, hello, Max. I hope this isn't about the alleged gun incident. Alleged? Nathan did have a gun. Have you talked to him yet? Yes, he's deeply upset about this accusation. I don't blame him. Once I have all the facts, we'll talk. For the moment, focus on your schoolwork. I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. There's nothing to be scared of at Blackwell Academy. Our head of security is overseeing a new era of campus safety. Mr. Madsen already treats everybody here like they're under surveillance. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to instantly accuse people of doing terrible things. Nathan, Mr. Madsen, who's next? Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a meeting. Sir? Oh, hello, Max. Alleged? <laughs> yes, he's deeply... I can't focus when I'm scared. Please don't say that. I saw Mr. Madsen hassle Kate Marsh yesterday. Wait, wait. Do you see a pattern here, Max? Probably not the same one you see. It's very easy for you to... In Max, I have a meeting. Excuse me. I swear, Principal Wells always looks distressed. Good thing I left my AK at home. Now why would Frank Bowers have your bracelet? I should feel lucky to be here. If my tornado vision came true, it would be the end of the world. If only I knew what David Madsen was- Excuse me, Mr. Madsen? I know things got a little heated yesterday in Chloe's room. Was that really your reefer? Yes, it was. You know that marijuana is almost legal in Oregon. I can get it at Blackwell. Are you gonna bust me now, Mr. Madsen? Even I'm not that much of an asshole. And I am sorry about yesterday. I was wrong, but upset. Cannabis is not a big deal to you, but it has been to Chloe. You're a combat veteran. She's no threat to you. If I didn't care about her, I wouldn't care at all. When I was her age, I was out raising a lot more hell. She's better than that. All you kids are. So is Kate Marsh. What about Kate? You step between us at a pretty bad time. She's another matter entirely. Kate hasn't done anything wrong. Max, this isn't just about Kate Marsh. My concern is for the safety of all Blackwell students, including you. That'll take more than surveillance cameras. It will take more than Ms. Grant and her petition to find missing students. Isn't that your responsibility as head of security? Unless you know something about Rachel Amber that nobody else does. I don't want to fight with you anymore. I don't want to fight with anyone anymore. That's all, Max. If only I knew what David Madsen was really up to. Trevor surveys his domain. Join us, or die. Courtney will do anything for Victoria in the Vortex. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. I have to come up with a guest list for a Vortex Club soiree. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm not anti-soiree. 
You seem anti-fashion, though. A Vortex Club party has a strict dress code. Do you even have a dress? <laughs> Sorry, but nice try. Forget it, Max. No soiree for you. Hey, Courtney. Ciao, Max. No photos, please. Really? Oh, like you care. I'm sure the Vortex Club has a dress code. As you can see, I would need your advice on what to wear. Thanks, Max. I didn't think you noticed high fashion. Tell you what, I'll put you down on the guest list and before the party, I can give you some tips. Cool. Thanks, Courtney. I'll send you the party info later. Back to the list. Courtney will do anything for Victoria and the Vortex Club. If I was normal, I'd be super excited about going to a major shindig. Seriously. Hello, climate change. Does anybody believe this shit? I'm going to find out what happened to you, Rachel. I still have time. I could go see Warren playing mad scientist in the lab. Luke is always using the phone as a shield to avoid people. I saw Victoria and her friends shopping for the party. I really hope this jackass will use protection next time. Juliet is laying the smack down on Zachary. I hate having everybody see inside my locker. I love how Evan is so above the Vortex Club and everything else. Yo, Maxwell Smart. Talk later, cool? So you can't help me? I'm trying, but you have to understand my position. I shouldn't be so stingy with my blood. Brooke always kind of pretends like I'm almost not. Howdy, Brooke. Hi, Max. Making your daily rounds? How is your drone? Miss Grant busted me flying this it over the parking lot. Hard. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. I hate to hit and run, but... Don't let me get in your way. So long. I bet if I touch the glass, all these creepy sea critters will pop up. Da Vinci was a boss. Miss Grant is so cool and smart. She defines the word teacher. Bring me the brain, Igor. There's Mr. Wizard, hard at work. Hey, Warren. Are you okay? You look thoughtful, yet confused. Maxwell Silver Hammer. Perfect timing. I need help with this chemical experiment. Asking me for help means you're screwed. I have to add either a bit of potassium or sodium. It's up to you to decide, Dr. Max. I'm not sure why you're letting me decide your fate, but go... Potassium. Potassium it shall be. If this works, you get a free hug.
Weird science. Hey, Warren. Maxwell so Asking me f Have that either- I have a vision. Go diem. Go diem? That's the worst pun I've ever heard. Yet Max has spoken. So diem it is. Damn, zip. No. Hey, Warren. Maxwell's asking me f have that either. I actually think you should use a lot of potassium. I mean, a shitload. See? Look at that smile. You're going to become a scientist yet. Let's do this thing. She blinded me with science. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? I don't want to laugh, but he looks so... Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Bring me the brain, Igor. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? Wonder why they don't use real skeletons. Hey, Warren. Maxwell's asking me. Have daddy. I actually think. See, look at the. She blinded me with science. I don't want to laugh, but he looks so hilarious. Yes! That was a blast! But let's keep it a professional secret. Cool? I bet Mr. Jefferson has had to deal with a lot of- Excuse me, Max. Can you come over here? Sure. You look worried. Is everything okay? Sorry to bother you, Mr. Jefferson. I'm only bothered when you avoid turning in photos. But you know this. So what can I do for you, Max? Just between you and me? I'm worried about Kate Marsh. That's no secret. Word on the street is that you and Kate had a little confrontation with our security chief yesterday. I stepped in between David Madsen barking all up in Kate's face about something. She doesn't deserve that. Of course not. <laughs> Mr. Madsen isn't the most gentle soul. Do you have proof he instigated the situation? My word isn't good enough? <sighs> the one time I choose not to take a picture. Always take the shot. My number one rule of photography. And Max? I promise this matter is being discussed by the faculty. I assume you know about this viral video? Kate is freaked out by all of this. She can't do homework while she's being tormented on a daily basis. What if Kate brought this on herself? She means well, but maybe she doth protest too much. She seems like she's holding back the truth. Have you talked to her? Yes, I talked to her on the phone today. She needs friends and support now. I just don't want Kate Marsh to become the next Rachel Amber. Rachel Amber? What does she have to do with Kate? With all her missing persons posters around, it's hard not to think of her. I miss Rachel too. But think about yourself, Max. Principal Wells told me about what you said happened in the bathroom. It did happen. Nathan Prescott had a gun in the girls' bathroom yesterday. This is a serious accusation, Max. So you don't believe me? 
I would never make something like this up. I hope so, Max. But it's easy to point fingers. If Mr. Madsen claims you might be a pot dealer as he did, should I believe him? Listen, should I... Excuse me, Max. Hello? Yes? Uh, hold on. I have to take this, so just go into class and I'll be there soon. Uh-huh. Stella is smart to stay out of all the drama. I guess I'm out of time to turn in a photo for the contest. Irony. Then right. Show me the love. How do I look, Taylor? You look like this. Alyssa really lives for her classes. Not now, Max. I'm contemplating shit. Whoa, Mr. Jefferson is not messing around with that monster. He probably paid 20 grand for that camera. I bet he gets pristine digital images. Daniel is always on the outside looking in. What's up, Daniel? Waiting to draw Dana after Hayden gets his paparazzi on. Don't worry, Max. I won't ask you again to pose for me. Please don't be offended. I feel like a dork when somebody talented asks me to pose. Trust me, I understand. I'd love to get a second chance at art history with you. Someday your portrait may hang in the Daniel de Costa wing of the Louvre. We'll talk about it later. That's a great sketch of Dana. Daniel is the real deal. Dana is ready for her 15 minutes of fame. No time to talk, Max. Posing in progress. Do you think Max will be pissed we're sitting at her desk? Oh, I'm sure I she'll I can't believe the principal lets him stay in school oh God, after I told him what happened. Or she'll run to Mr. Jefferson, like he gives Even a shit. Even if Victoria ignores me, I'm glad we talked yesterday. Such a little... Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, Max. So I won't forget you. Assholes. Okay, why is David taking photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. <laughs> 